from film festival second Morgan documentary film festival we have an event coming up at clinton street theater tomorrow on august the 21st and we are excited because we are going to be uh, streaming a film on screen live for everyone and that will be 100 mile jacket directed by jamie day fleck who is also nominated for the best director award hello jamie how are you hi michael thank you for having me well, where are you where are you at right now uh, i live in toronto canada and uh that's where i am on the east side of toronto all right see i learned to say toronto and not toronto because you know people get on me for that so <laughs> <laughs> they'll find out you're not from here that's right that's right no matter how many episodes of stargate i watch i can't quite get the canadian accent down but i do know the toronto thing so appreciate your time today and um Wow, let's talk about your film. I don't want to give away the synopsis for you, so I'll just go ahead and ask you to put it in your word, in your own words. Uh, what is 100 Mile Jacket about? So 100 Mile Jacket is a short documentary that shows the journey of, of a, a fashion garment from the actual sheep that the, the wool was produced from to the finished product of the jacket, which was sold in a department store here in Toronto. And uh, this is kind of a unique tale because all the people involved in this process were within a hundred miles of Toronto, Canada. And since most of our clothing comes from very far flung places going through many, many hands, uh, it's unique to be able to see the, uh, the various changes on the supply chain until you get to the finished uh, finished garment the judges appreciated your film because you kind of took us on this this little introspective ride something that we don't you know normally think about and uh just the way you put it all together your production just the way this whole thing unfolded everybody on the team was just really really impressed good job thank you so much why this is there just a certain i i actually don't know the motivation for you specifically making this film what is it about this story that you wanted to tell uh well actually uh i had had intentions to make a feature film about local textile production after meeting uh and in, in slow fashion after meeting um the weaver in the film uh deborah livingston Lowe, and i was so taken with her, the care that she put into everything she did and the amount of thought that went into it and just also uh, preserving these techniques that I got really interested in it. And I was, my last documentary uh, was about local food production and uh, urban agriculture. So it kind of is an extension of that, looking at local um, fashion and local uh, fabric production, um, obviously with, with growing vegetables it's a more immediate thing but with clothing there's many different stages that it has to go through so um but there's this movement that is um starting called the fiber shed movement which started in california and it's this idea of getting your clothing uh from local producers so there's definitely an interest in uh, in local fashion wow so you mentioned you did some other documentaries. Where did this all start for you, documentary filmmaking? Um, okay, so my background is as, as a uh, portrait photographer, and that's what my undergraduate degree is. I went to Parsons School of Design in New York City, but I always had an interest in film. I did many film courses while I was there, both production and film history. And then um, about, um, well, in 2012, I went back to school for my master's in documentary media, and um, I finished my first documentary film in 2014, and I just kind of got hooked on it. I found it was a better medium for me as an artist versus wow. as a commercial endeavor. Uh, photography was kind of always, for me, a bit of a commercial thing, um, you know, being commissioned to do portrait headshots or something like that. And uh, so with filmmaking, I really felt I could bring um, my own personal message to an audience. Excellent, excellent. Well, what do you got working on, what are you working on next? What's, what's next for you? 
that's it. I'm working on the Fiber Shed documentary about local textile production. Oh, you're going to keep going. Okay. All right. That's your part. Yeah, well, so that this, is. This was a. Yeah. So this film was actually a commissioned piece by uh, Campaign for Wool Canada. So it was specifically about uh, wool production. And, uh, and I was very honored to be selected to tell this story of this jacket that they were producing. Um, but the next, but it, so it totally aligned with my next feature film documentary. All right. Was well, there anything like you'd like to add before we get out of here? I'm just very honored that uh, the Oregon Documentary Film Festival decided to show this film and I'm happy that it's getting a wider audience. All right. Well, again, we appreciate it. Looking forward to screening this. Uh, for everyone in Oregon, and um, wish you could be there, but um, hopefully in the future, uh, and so I know it's a long trek, it's a long trek for me as well, but hopefully in the future, um, we'll see you at a future event, all right? Thanks so much, Michael. All right, have a good one.